publishing your game on SideQuest is probably one of the best things you can do when you're testing out new ideas to see if you got a good game on your hand. So let's learn how to publish a game on SideQuest. It looks like they've added a developer hub, so we're gonna be learning how to use that and some new features that they've added in with it. Let's get going. If you're new here, I'm Fistful Shrimp. I make VR tutorials with Unity and other Unity tutorials. First and foremost, we're gonna make sure that we have the right modules installed. So this is the version I'm using of Unity for this tutorial. And you wanna make sure that you have the Android build support in there because we gotta build APK files. That's what goes on Quest devices. And so that's what we have to build out to. For this example, I'm going to be using just my little VR template that I've made, and I'm going to be building an APK file from that. So first and foremost, you got to go over here and we need to switch to Android, and this can take a hot minute. And a few other things you want to know is you want to make sure you check mark all the scenes that you want to have in this APK build. If you don't check these, then it's not going to be in the build. So I'm going to switch platform. Now, once you've switched over to the Android platform, you're gonna wanna come over to edit and project settings, and we want to do some final double checking here. So if we go under player and make sure you're selecting the Android tab, you want to do your company name here, and then you want to have your product name, so whatever the name of your game is gonna be. And yeah, please like this video, super original. And another thing you can consider, since this is SideQuest, it doesn't require you to use a key store manager, which is a way you can protect your project from anyone else updating it or taking it over because you need both the key store and your password. I'm gonna go ahead and skip that step because it's not really required for SideQuest, but I do think you should use a key store manager, be responsible with your security. Other settings you wanna consider here, a uh, linear space, that is good. Let's see, Vulcan is now supported with Quest, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that there, and we'll come back down here, multi-threaded rendering, good, good, good. And then coming down here, IL2 CPP, scripting backend, that is solid. Let's see, the minimum Android version is gonna be set to 10, that is good. Target is automatic, that's also good. Yeah, with those settings, that should be set there. I'm just going to build this APK right here. Ooh, you know what? Yeah, I don't want it to be the 360 video. Let's go with just the title screen. Now, normally I like to store this in a builds folder. If you don't have one, well, you just create one. But I've already created one here. And I am just going to create a new one called SideQuest. Double click that and we will call this and press build. Once the APK is finally done building, we are able to get going on SideQuest. Now, first and foremost, you're gonna have to make an account. So you'll have to make your display name, change yourself to a developer, pick what country of residence, what year you were born. And then after that, you should be able to sign up pretty easily. Yeah, make a password. Once you create the account, you'll be able to go to the top right and go to Developer Portal. That's their new way of submitting applications. And we have this nice new interface to work with. We can look at our applications, our analytics, what organizations we're part of. It's pretty swanky, so thanks, SideQuest. Now, in order to make a new listing, all you do is come up here and create new listing. It'll ask for an organization, and yours won't show up here. I've accidentally already made the application, so all you need to do is add in your title name, and then the summary, and you know what? It will say this is required, but since it's your first one, if you leave it blank and you hit create listing, it will create your name as your organization. So I named myself El Shrimpo for this tutorial. So now we have, please like my video, the game and the owner or the organization is El Shrimpo. And if I hit edit listing, you'll see all the things that you will need to do. So for this, we need a title summary. It gives you some helpful hints here that you could follow. Package name, if you don't know how to find the package name, you just come back into here, editor, project settings, player, and then you scroll down and you can find the package name here. And if you don't like your package name, well, you change it up here, company name and product name. You'll see it is com.fistfulshrimp.please like this video. So uh, all I'd have to do is put the name here and we should be set there. And then we would do what the comfort level is, the license that we wanna do or associate with it. We can do the device list here. So we'll support Quest distribution. This is where things are really getting cool for SideQuest. So you'll see here, they are actually allowing us to do GitHub integration. So our users can use production, alpha and beta releases across multiple headsets. So pretty rad. It starts us off with it disabled and it just only allows a single channel, but I might have to do a tutorial on this in 
the future. Let's see. So since we are doing single, we want it to be hosted on SideQuest. This is where you load your APK file. So if you browse, I'm going to go ahead and I've copied where this is at and I'm just going to upload it. Now, I noticed in the last tutorial that you guys were wondering how you update this, and I'm pretty sure the best way to update this is, well, I already made a separate build, and this should update it, but it says it's already here. So, yeah, I think the only thing to do is you delete the old one, you add in the new one, and to make sure it uploads to other people's devices, so once the new one is uploaded, I actually had to refresh the page in order to upload the new one. You just want to make sure that you come over here and you change the version number and that should notify people who are playing your game that there is a new one and it should update it for them. So yeah, that's how you update it. And we also have these over here. This is so once you got the distribution done, we have the store options In the store options. We can go to the medic store. So if you have it on App Lab, you can provide a link here, which is pretty cool. Uh, itch, you can do it there and also other channels like Steam. And then finally, you need to get these images in here. And you know what? I trust that you can read this and you know how to fill out images. After you've done all of these things and these have all turned green, then you send it in for approval. It should take about a week. And then once it's granted, you come in here to manage app and you publish it. So I'm going to go over to my already published one, the VR Sickness Lab that I created for my last tutorial. And you can see everything is filled out here. The device list is filled out. Distribution is set. Store options is here. Images are all here, except now it requires screenshots. So I need to update mine. And you can see here, since it's already been approved, I hit published. This is where I hit published. And then you can unpublish the app if you want. And that's really it. It's pretty shrimple. If you found this helpful, consider subscribing and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.